my name's Ella Maysep and I'm from Katanning Landcare. We're working with the students at Katanning High about how we can source firewood in a way that, that is responsible. So we've taken some of the students out on a field trip and we've looked at the different animals that live in the Australian bush and the important elements of habitat that the wood provides in that bush, where it is allowed to be collected from, where it's not, and so that we can have a balance where people can have their firewood but the animals can have their homes too. Hi, I go to Katanning Senior High School. I go to Katanning Senior High School in Katanning, WA. In winter it gets very cold in Katanning. In winter we use a fireplace. In winter it gets very cold. Sometimes there's frost outside in the morning. In my house I usually use fires to keep warm. In winter it gets really cold. My family keeps warm with a fireplace. To keep warm we collect wood, yeah. Yeah, we've got fire home. In winter, it does get cold down in Katanning Hill. So we need to collect firewood to keep warm. Because we burn wood, we've been learning how to collect wood responsibly. Yesterday, we learned about how to collect firewood responsibly. Yesterday, we went to go out on a bus learning how to collect firewood properly. Yesterday, we took the school bus out. We got everyone around and hopped on the bus with Miss Mason. The first place we visited yesterday was where the Carnaby black cockatoo nested. We saw what the Carnaby fed on, this spiky dryandra. The Carnaby black cockatoo migrate from the coast to Katanning and it is an endangered species. We need to stop cutting down hollow trees because that's what they nest in. Which took like about 100 years to form. It is very important because they keep coming back to that tree like each generation. And after that we, we went to the side of the road where Ella mentioned that there was an echidna around. Someone decided to name it Frank. We gave the, the echidna a name. It's called Frank. On the side of the road you shouldn't take firewood because that's illegal. You get fined if you collect wood illegally up to $2,000 to $10,000. You're not allowed to collect firewood from side roads. If you collect from the side of the road you might get a fine. You could end up getting a fine of $2,000 to $10,000. And the third place we went to yesterday was the bush behind the gravel pit where other animals live. The Pygmy possum, brush-tailed fasca gale, red-tailed fasca gale, jordage, numbat. Sometimes there's termites in the hollows for numbats to eat. And we also saw a python. And the snake was in a hollow. It was quite fortunate we saw a snake in the logs. This proved to us that it's true that animals live in logs and all that. The main thing about collecting firewood is not to cut down trees that's standing up, only pick up the wood on the ground. We have to leave the hollows and standing trees for nests. We have to get permits to collect wood from the forest. Leave standing trees, don't collect all from one area. You need to leave some for the animals so for that sure like don't. you don't collect hollows so that's where like animals live so you don't want to take an animal's home away. This is like taking your home away, yeah. Now I know how to collect responsibly.